Good day everyone, this video will cover week 8 of quarter 3. Milks number 29 and 30. First, construct perpendicular and angle bisectors. Second, use bisectors to solve problems. And for our objectives, use triangle congruence to prove angle bisector. Use the concept of perpendicular lines to prove triangle congruence and apply triangle congruence to construct angle bisector. Now let's define angle bisector. When we say angle bisector, it is a line segment or ray that divides an angle into two equal parts. So when we say bisector or bisect, it means to cut in half. Or always remember in two equal parts. So in this given illustration, line segment OB is the angle bisector of angle AOC. So therefore, measure of angle AOB is equal to the measure of angle COB. Alright? Let's have an example. I have here triangle DAB. And segment AC is the angle bisector. We all know that when we say angle bisector, it divides an angle into two equal parts. So therefore, angle DAC is congruent to angle BAC. So if the measure of this angle or measure of angle DAC is 50 degrees, then measure of this angle or angle BAC is also 50 degrees. Okay? Now let's proceed to perpendicular bisector. It is a line segment form a 90 degree angle goes through on the midpoint of the opposite side. Again, when we say bisector or bisect, it means to cut in half or into equal parts. And when we say perpendicular is when two lines, two lines meet at a right angle. So in this given illustration, line segment FI is the perpendicular bisector of line segment S. I have here an illustration for you to easily understand. Now, uh, look at the given illustration. Where is a perpendicular bisector? Alright, line segment MP is a perpendicular bisector. M is the midpoint of line segment st so since m is the midpoint of line segment st we all know that line segment sm is congruent to line segment md and line segment sm plus line segment md is equal to line segment st all right and Angle SMP is equal to 90 degrees. Alright? Now, for our first example, given isosceles triangle HMA with base HA, we need to construct an angle bisector MT from vertex M. So, tayo mismo yung magko-construct ng angle bisector. We all know that angle bisector divides an angle into two equal parts. So, nasa, sa, sa natin ilalagay yung ating line segment MP. Alright, so here. Okay, so we have here line segment MP as our angle bisector. Now, we need to supply the missing reasons to complete the proof. Given triangle HMA is isosceles, T is the midpoint of line segment HA. And we need to prove that line segment MT bisect angle HMA. 
And to prove this, we need to use the two column proof for the statement with the reasons. Okay, for our first statement, triangle HMA is isosceles. The reason is given. And what is isosceles? Very good. A triangle having two equal sides. So, ano ba yung dalawang equal sides natin dito? Okay. We have line segment HM and line segment AM. Or the reason is definition of isosceles triangle. Now, for our third statement, meron pa tayo ditong given. Given statement. So, therefore, T is the midpoint. The reason is given. Now, what do we mean by midpoint? It is a point that divides the segment into two equal parts. So, what are those equal parts? Very good. So, we have here line segment HT is congruent to line segment TA. And the reason is definition of midpoint. Now, based on ating diagram, can you guess the next statement? Since wala na tayong given dito. Alright, we have here a common side, right? So, the next statement is line segment MT is congruent to line segment MT. And the reason is reflexive property of equality. Now, meron na ba tayong triangle congruence na nakikita dito? Very good. Triangle HMT is congruent to triangle AMT. And the reason is SSS congruence postulates. Now, hindi pa tayo natatapos dito since ang ipuprove natin ay line segment MT bisect angle HMA. So, for our next statement, we all know that these two triangles are congruent. So, therefore, angle HMT is congruent to angle AMT or this angle. Okay, and the reason is... CPC, TC, or corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Now, we can prove that line segments MT bisect angle HMA. The reason is definition of angle bisector. Alright? Next example given, line segment LO is congruent to line segment BO. Angle LOE is congruent to angle BOE. We need to prove that line segment OE bisect angle LOB. So for our first statement, line segment LO is congruent to line segment BO. And the reason is given and always use marking sa ating diagram. Next, angle LOE is congruent to angle BOE or these angles. The reason is given. Now, based sa ating diagram, ano na yung next nating statement? Okay, so as we can see, we have here a common side, right? So, a line segment OE is congruent to line segment OE. The reason is a reflexive property. So, meron na ba tayo ditong triangle congruence na pwedeng ilagay sa ating statement? Very good. So, based sa ating illustration, we have triangle LOE is congruent to triangle VOE. The reason is SAS congruence postulates. Now, if we have two triangles that are congruent, so we all know that angle LEO is congruent to angle VEO. The reason is CPCTC or corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. So here, so ito yung angles na congruent. Next, we can now prove that line segment OE by sex angle L E V. The reason is definition of angle by side. Example number three. Given line BD is the perpendicular by sector of line segment A. Prove that line segment BA is congruent to line segment B. So based ating statement and given illustration, kailangan tayo mag-construct ng perpendicular by sector. So here, we have here line BD. 
Now, for our first statement, line DD is the perpendicular bisector of line segment AC. The reason is given. Now, what is the second statement? So, i-define muna natin what is perpendicular bisector para alam natin yung mga susunod na statement. So, we all know that perpendicular bisector forms a 90-degree angle and goes through on the midpoint of the opposite side. So, alam natin that this is the midpoint and it is a point that divides the segment into two equal parts. So, ano ba yung two equal parts natin? Line segment AB is congruent to line segment CD. The reason is definition of perpendicular bisector. And also, perpendicular bisector, right? It forms a 90-degree angle. So, angle ABB and angle CDB are right angles. The reason is definition of perpendicular bisector. Since we have here two right angles, therefore, angle ABB is congruent to angle CDB for this angle. So, any two right angles are congruent. So, based on our diagram, since wala na rin tayo given, so, ano yung next statement natin? Very good. We have here a common side, right? So, line segment DB is congruent to line segment DB. And the reason is reflexive property. Alright. So, meron na tayo ditong triangle congruence based sa ating uh, illustration, right? So, we have triangle ADB is congruent to triangle CDB. And anong postulate? We have SAS congruence postulate. So now we can prove that line segment BA is congruent to line segment BC. And the reason is CPCTC or corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. For our last example, we need to fill the missing information. So, given line SA is the perpendicular bisector of line segment TR, we need to prove that line segment ST is congruent to line segment SR. So, based sa ating given statement and illustration, kailangan tayo mag-construct ng ating perpendicular bisector. So, here, we have here line SA. Now, what is our first statement? Very good. So, we have line SA is perpendicular bisector of line segment TR. The reason is given. How about the reason for our second statement? So, angle SAT and angle SAR are right angles. So, here. The reason is... Very good. Definition of perpendicular bisector. How about the third statement? The reason is any two right angles are congruent. Okay, angle SAT is congruent to angle SAR. How about the fourth statement with the reason of reflexive property? Alright. Line segment SA is congruent to line segment SA. And the reason for our fifth statement Line segment TA is congruent to line segment RA. The reason is... Okay. Definition of perpendicular bisector. Because we know that A is the midpoint of line segment PR. Now, for our sixth statement... With the reason SAS congruence postulate, triangle STA is congruent to triangle SRA. And the last one, line segment ST is congruent to line segment SR. And the reason is CPCTC or corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Alright? And that's all for today. Thank you so much, great students, for listening.